Coit Carrig, which is part of Big Covert uh, near Micehaven in North East Wales. A limestone ridge, um, it's never been farmed, it's been woodland for, uh, we, we know it's been woodland for at least 200 years, but it's classified as ancient woodland. Uh, originally it was common land up until the end of the uh, 18th century and then it was enclosed and planted up um, in the early 1800s with half a million different trees. Um, I think they, they grew quite successfully until the First World War and then they were probably most of them were cut down. Although we do have a, a few remnants that missed the felling because uh, they, they were not tall and straight. I'm doing a ancient woodland restoration program. Uh, the beech trees that cover the site here have uh, been here uh, roughly 70 years, never, never been touched, never been thinned. Uh, they've, they've closed the canopy, uh, which means that very little grows on the ground, there's no understory. So I'm uh, uh, making clearings in the beach and replanting those clearings with mixed natives. Uh, mainly uh, oaks and hazels, but um, uh, rowans and hollies and, and, and hawthorn and blackthorn to, to, to bring the wildlife back into the site, really, bring a bit of diversity. work very closely with uh, Koikadu Woodland Trust uh, who did some initial survey work and have helped me uh, develop the plan and been working very closely with uh, the local branch of the uh, North Wales Wildlife Trust um, who have been helping me with uh, volunteers and the resources and trees and uh, lots of interest from them as well so it's really great. Um, well, I bought the wood uh, nearly three years ago. Um, uh, my mother unfortunately died, left me a little bit of money, so I, I chose to use the money to build a, to, to buy a wood and do something with it, uh, basically for the grandchildren. I'm not doing it for myself, I'm doing it for the wildlife and doing it for the grandchildren. So that's how I came to own it. Um, it probably wasn't the type of wood that I was originally looking for, but the fact that it's a five-acre plot within a 150 acre um, larger woodland is, is ideal because A I can work here and B I can just bring the dog and walk around whenever I want, it's great. The site has an interesting history, uh, it's limestone, um, he heavily fissured, there's no water on the surface, it's all underground. Um, and historically it's been used for lead mining for, for centuries and there are some um, prehistoric caves on the site as well where um, some uh, Bronze Age bodies were found when it was excavated in the 50s so yeah it's got a lot of interesting history and a lot of lo local interest in uh, what's happening here so I've been involving the local community in what I've been doing getting them to help me with, uh, with tree planting um, and thinking about um, r running a few events and maybe uh, uh, applying to become part of the Wales National Forest as well. So that's my next little uh, project. Well, my, my vision really is that it, it returns to a mixed native woodland uh, with a much greater variety of trees in it uh, which will bring a much greater variety of wildlife, uh, insects and birds, uh, potentially deer, uh, which will be a bit of a mixed blessing if they come, but uh, it will be nice to see. There are 30 different plot owners, all with different plans and ambitions. Um, what we did was off offer them um, a, a uh, uh, free, free of charge, 
ancient woodland remnant survey uh, from the Woodland Trust. About half of them have taken that up and I think three or four of them following that have put together plans and have sub submitted felling license applications to do different types of restoration work in, in different parts of the wood. So it'll be interesting to see how the different approaches work and what works best and uh, whether other people, uh, other members of the 30, follow thereafter.